Good morning, everyone. It's Gloria, and I'm here with my precious Lily Beth today on this Thursday. I didn't have anything to put on Lily Beth today that was red, and I haven't had a chance to make a video uh, over the last week or so. I've been very busy, and um, you know, I had told you we, we were going on our little 49th anniversary trip. We went to Thomasville, Georgia and met up there with the Jacksonville, Florida Corvette Club. And of course, we're members of that club. And uh, we got there late Friday evening around uh, five o'clock their time. And they had a parade celebrating the uh, Rose Festival that was going on there. And they had invited the club to be participants in the parade so that was a lot of fun. I've never been in a parade uh, in the evening but there were 27 Corvettes if you can imagine uh, and it was a large large parade and the parade route was quite long and I would dare say there were several thousand people uh, along the route watching and it was just a lot of fun. They had fireworks after the parade although we didn't get to see those. Um, we were all so tired from the long drive of the day and everyone was uh, quite hungry, so we disbanded after the parade and just went to find a place to eat. And uh, several really funny things, um, memorable things happened on the trip. And uh, this was one of them and I have to share it. And, and it was okay uh, with the waitress to to share this because she herself got a pretty big laugh out of it. But one of our um, uh, members uh, likes lemon in her Coke, and uh, but she doesn't like lemon on the glass because, you know, when you take a sip of Coke, you would taste that very strong lemon flavor. So anyway, she was at a restaurant, and so she said that she would like to order a Coke um, and um, a bowl of lemon. And so the a waitress didn't understand what she said. And so she said, I would like to order a Coke with a bowl of lemon. And so the waitress looked rather strange and odd. And so uh, my friend looked at her like, well, you know what? I don't understand what is strange about that. But the anyway, the waitress went on and took her order and when it came um, it was in a large square bowl and the waitress had difficulty bringing it to the table it was sloshing about but she had put the coke in a uh, the square bowl uh, which would normally hold something like soup it wasn't very deep but there were lemon slices in the coke and we just got the biggest kick out of that ever and I think they left the waitress an extra large tip. But uh, the waitress said, she said, well, I thought that was a little strange, but, you know, I've had some strange orders before. So sure enough, you know, she uh, got her Coke with the bowl of lemon. And uh, you know what? She drank it. <laughs> and we have a photo of her drinking the Coke with the straw. And um, that was just really funny. And then this other instance... It, it was funny to us, but I'm sure it was traumatic to the young bride. But we visited this beautiful, beautiful plantation that had many, many... It wasn't an antebellum plantation. This was built... Uh, originally, it was built in the 1800s, but that building was burnt to the ground, and they rebuilt it. And for the life of me, I can't remember the name of the plantation, but it's there right outside Thomasville. Gorgeous, gorgeous place with acreage and... Um, it was a working plantation where they raised um, cattle and also horses and uh, show horses. And so, uh, like I said, there were many outbuildings and we were uh, on our way out and there were lots of little paths that meandered between the buildings. And it was very interesting to always peer in the windows and see the furnishings and that sort of thing of the period. and the plantation, the main building had over 30,000 square feet and it was absolutely uh, beautiful. Nothing had been touched since the uh, owner 
had willed it to the state and uh, the walls hadn't been painted or anything and so it was in very good condition and it was just as they had left it with the family belongings so it was quite interesting to uh, visit but anyway um, my husband my brother-in-law my sister-in-law myself were the ones that were touring and uh, it was late in the afternoon and we had noticed that on the front lawn there were white chairs and under this gorgeous gorgeous live oak tree hanging with moss everywhere it was a beautiful setting uh, it was going to be a wedding that afternoon uh, but we didn't see any flowers or we didn't see any of the wedding party so anyway we were going between these two buildings and the pathway i guess maybe was about uh, oh maybe 10 feet wide between the two buildings and uh, one had high windows but you know we were looking in all the windows as we passed so my brother-in-law went he was first in line we were single file and uh he peered at the window and then all of a sudden i noticed he quickly looked down then my husband looked up in the window and then he quickly looked down and i was immediately behind him and i looked in the window and lo and behold this young beautiful bride was being dressed in her bridal gown by i suppose her mother and it was a strap strapless dress um with a built-in um, bra inside, and needless to say, she had on nothing from the waist up. <laughs> and it was it was terrible. I, I I pointed to her and I said, "Oh my goodness, turn, turn!" I did a hand signal with my hand and you know my eyes, and she was standing there with her mouth agasp, you know, uh, uh, traumatized the poor girl on her wedding day. But anyway, uh, it it was it was something else, and. And, you know, as sad as that was for her, uh, I'm hoping she forgot that very quickly. Uh, looking forward to her beautiful afternoon wedding. And uh, it, but it was quite funny for us. And, and there again, you know, it was a, a, another good memory of this trip. And uh, <laughs> I just kind of had to share it with y'all because every time I think about it, I smile. And uh, I know she made a beautiful bride and uh, all was forgotten. But anyway, uh, we had a wonderful trip and uh, made it home, but my husband and I, we, we had taken an extra day to just kind of go out on our own, and uh, we were so tired that we just came on home, and so we rested, and then, of course, he had to go back to work Tuesday, and I, has, I do my volunteer work on Tuesday, and um, I've had been quite busy trying to catch up with unpacking and washing clothes and I went shopping while we were gone and this beautiful beautiful little town of Thomasville many many uh, boutique shops and all but they only had one uh, baby or children's shop and they sold the, the beautiful children's brands the Will Beth and uh, Bailey Boys and all the you know uh, higher end clothing lines but they didn't have any newborns and uh, they only had one or two newborn pieces nothing that wasn't extremely similar to what I already have so I didn't buy a thing ladies on that shopping trip and that's just not like me you know to not buy something but I have had lots of fun on eBay since I got home and I found two more outfits and I I just bought one uh, just a little while ago, and I'm very excited to get that and show that to you when it comes. Um, I'm going to try to curtail my eBay shopping because it uh, it's becoming quite expensive, and I really don't need these things, ladies. But anyway, I do want to share uh, what Lily Beth has on today. I uh, gave her a little bath and put some of the cologne that Katie from My Little World sent, and she just smells super good this morning. And uh, the little outfit, the, the leggings and top, was an, an outfit that came new with tags that I bought at the Little Feet consignment sale not too long ago. And I just love it. I love it. It's a, a, a knit, a heavier knit on, um, on the top. And this is puffed. You know, it's um, quilted little rows, it appears to be. I love this soft color pink. And there's Miss Lily Beth's sweet face has this gorgeous, gorgeous lace here. And it has the little jeggings, I guess you'd call it. I said leggings, but I guess it's jeggings. Let me see if I can get it to focus. You can see there's a 
very, very pale little, um, I can't really tell what shape it is. Maybe a little diamond shape or it could be a little, little uh, flower shape uh, pattern on them. But it's so pale pink that it hardly shows up. But I had bought this brand new pair of socks at a children's shoe shop here. Uh, not too long ago when we went shoe shopping for my granddaughter I thought they were just gorgeous and they have the little flowers with the pearls and em embroidery for the leaves and this beautiful little embroidered edge with the seed pearls and I put them on Lily Beth with these little satin slippers um, that have the little satin rosebud on there I thought you know those are the shoes are a little bit dressy but and maybe so are the socks, but that's such beautiful dressy lace that I didn't think it would really matter. Do y'all? I don't think so. Well, anyway, Lily Beth is there with her sweet little lovey. This was one of the very first things that I ever got for her. And she has her Suavenex pacifier. And she's taking a very nice morning nap. And uh, this is running a little bit long, but I did want... To let you know where I've been and that uh, I really have missed you all and I've stayed up a couple of nights trying to catch up on a few of the videos there's no way I can watch them all but I just love and appreciate every one of you and um, I know a lot of you in the community are are hurting right now not only physically but mentally and I just would like you to know that I'm remembering you in my prayers and that God is good and he sees your needs and just reach out to him. Um, he's there for you, ladies. He's there for you. He'll never fail you. He'll never forsake you. He'll never leave you. And uh, he's my rock and he can be yours too. And anyway, I will let you go with that thought and I just send blessings to everyone from Gloria and my sweet Lily Beth. Bye-bye, everybody.